Hello everyone, Pedro here with GetResponse. In this video, I want to teach you how you can authenticate your email address with Tkim. We need to go to our profile, manage account, and then follow up with email addresses here on the left. And to authenticate, you need a private email domain. And then you'll see an option here saying authenticate. As I clicked already, it's, it's showing authentication pending. And when you click on it, it will give you um, the instructions on how to do it. And you will start by copying this part till domain key. And then you need to access your domain provider. Mine is GoDaddy. I will just click here. And if you have the same, you will just go to my account manager, manage my products and you'll be taken there. And then I will scroll till my domain. And here it is simple setup.xyz and I'll click on DNS. As we are now in the DNS settings, I will click to add a record here, add. And we need to choose a TXT record. The name is what we copied till domain key. And then we need the value. The value is the whole uh, thing that you see here. Just click on copy, it will copy everything. And let's go back, paste the value and the TTL. If you have default, leave it on default. I will just put one hour. And once this is done, just click add records. Uh, authenticating your email address with Kim can significantly boost your deliverability. Uh, it is a case by case. Kim is simply um, a signature for your email address. It will tell the recipient servers that the email address really is from you. It's not an impersonator. And also it will remove any references uh, mentioning GetResponse. If you have seen on behalf of GetResponse in your email address, this will be removed. And if you experience any issue with Kim, make sure to contact our customer success and our de deliverability team and they will be able to help you out. Once you do this and uh, you assign the TXT record, now there is the hard part, which is to wait and you will need to wait for about 24 hours. It differs in some cases. And when you go to your account, you would then see here authenticated. You can then test to send an email uh, to yourself and you will see that will, it will just appear your email address as the from email address. Now it's your turn to authenticate your email address. I hope you found this video helpful. I wish you a great day.